culture of tetracycline species on different culture media F2 and women. Culture is a process of transferring a small portion of a culture into a new culture medium, resulting in growth and an increase in biomass. According to Marinless et al. 2003, microalgae culture are commonly used as a live feed for fish, mollusks, or larvae in all growth stage. The culture media such as F2 and Werner were used in laboratory scale to culture the microalgae. F2 culture media is the most common and receive water media that designed for marine algae to grow, while Werner media were effectively for maintenance of stock culture and mass culturing various microalgae. The quality of medium used for their cultivation can determine the growth of microalgae. Growth phases of microalgae in different culture media can be compared by observing their morphology, size, color, and density. Cell numbers can be determined using hemocytometer or rafter chamber as long as algae are single cell and not colonial or chain forming, depending on the size of the algae. Meanwhile, Intensity of light acts as a driver of photosynthesis that are important factors affecting the growth of microalgae. By measuring the abundance of the algae cell or the increase in algae biomass in the form of dry weight, it is also can determine the growth of algae culture. Tetracelmis. Tetracelmis is a marine microalgae that have ability to tolerate wide range of salt concentration. According to when Laying and Uteng, tetracelmis are widely used in aquaculture. Marine microalgae have adaptability and important implication regarding competition between species under various conditions of limiting nutrients. The for this experiment is first to do a small scale batch culture of the same microalgae in different culture media, F2 and Wellner. Second, to compare the growth phase of the microalgae by observing its morphology, size, color, and density from start until harvest. And lastly, to compare algae growth rate, division time, yield as a fresh wheat and dry wheat per unit. Move to the methodology of uh, culturing algae, which is we have a pre-laboratory and during lab session. For pre-laboratory, uh, Usually, we discuss uh, among our group members to discuss further about flow of the culturing algae experiment. Then, we also provide the data sheets for the result. Uh, and culturing algae, uh, a day before, we are going to sterilize all the tools that we are going to use for the culturing process, which is we put it in the autoclave with 90 degrees Celsius in two hours to sterilize them. Using all tools that have been uh, sterilized in the autoclave, the algae culture was run by dividing the culture into two mediums, R1 medium and F2 medium. Each medium consists of two replicates, making culture having four replicates of flask, and all culture process were done in the film block. And then, before run the culturing process, the person in charge for the culturing algae should wear the glove. Then the hand was sterilized with ethanol to avoid from having bacterial contamination. Step 3 to step 7 were repeated for the next replicate which are medium F2 replicate 2, medium Walner replicate 1 and lastly for medium Walner replicate 2. All flasks were placed in defined area for inoculation that provided with sufficient light and temperature and it was followed by algae cell counting for the next day according to the daily routine work schedule. All the tools that we need to use for the culturing process need to be sterilized with the ethanol it is because we need to from having bacteria contamination. The data on the temperature and light intensity of the inoculation where the flasks were placed by using light meter. And then all the flasks were taken out from inoculation and were placed in the fume chamber. Uh, next, the color of the algae culture was observed by taking a picture with digital camera on the white background. Counting progress, uh, all flasks that we uh, having a culture need to remove all the parafilm and aluminum foil of F2 R1 and then sterilize the mouth uh, plus by using Bunsen burner. The medium was taken by using dropper use for taking F2 medium culture that have been sterilized with ethanol and flaming technique. Then it was put in the beaker that have been sterilized. Flask mouth uh, was sterilized and was covered with cotton plug and new aluminum foil and parafilm that has been sterilized. 
Step 4 until step 7 were repeated for other replicates where using different dropper for taking one culture medium. After done taking drops of uh, sample from each replicate, the flasks were placed in the inoculation. Uh, in cell counting, the HEMA cytometer and sandwich rafter were used to count algal cells in order to compute cell density graph. <laughs> was placed on the HEMA cytometer and a drop of sample from F2R1 was put under the cover slip at both top and bottom chamber and the HEMA cytometer was observed under the microscope. Okay, so this slide are showing how to calculate the uh, density of the cells by using service rafter to have a pre combust process where the filter paper was put into the aluminium foil then the aluminium foil with the filter paper was placed into the oven for one hour. After that, the aluminium foil was taken out and put into the desiccator for one day. The culture. At the same time, each medium was measured up to 15 uh, mil using measuring cylinder. The foil with filter paper was put into the oven for one hour. The aluminium foil with filter paper was taken out and placed into the desiccator. And on the next day, the filter paper was weighed to the five decimal places using the digital electronic balance and was recorded. Uh, so, step uh, step 8 was repeated for, three, for the 3 days. The one shows the graph of cell density for each replicate of both mediums within 9 days. From here, day 4, uh, the, cell, the, the cell density for all of the medium were decreased rapidly. This might be because of the technical error when transferring medium into a small beaker and for cell counting, which is the mediums were not shaped properly. Uh, another technical error were probably um, was during counting. Each everyone has different uh, eye vision, so it might affect the number um, of technique that we used for cell counting. Algae from medium F two R two is the first to achieve that phase due to the unfavorable condition and presence of zooplankton that feed on the algae. So the exponential phase of each replicate has been identified for Warner one is from day one until day 6 Warner 2 uh, Replicate 2 is from day 1 until day 5 However, for F2 medium the exponential phase can be seen for Replicate 1 in until day 3 and for Replicate 2 is from day 1 until day 5 here and shows the growth rate and the duration time that was calculated from the exponential phase in bigger one, the growth rate and division time from table one of the algae can be determined using the formula. Time is the time for cells to divide. F two R one medium growth rate, which is one point three nine five one, since it reached its maximum cell density on day three. Uh, Walner R2 has the second highest growth rate followed by F2 R2 and Walner R1. Walner R1 achieved its maximum de cell density at uh, day 6. F2 R1 has the shortest uh, division time uh, followed by Walner R2. The color intensity of each medium Traits of microalgae usually affected by the environmental factors such as light intensity, medium, and temperature. The light intensity is the most important factor that influences the growth rate of microalgae. The highest light intensity was observed in Walner Replicate 2 medium and causes the maximum number in the cell density. Less light exposure duration will affect the growth rate of microalgae as the light is not enough for microalgae to absorb while too much light exposure will result in photo inhibition all 2008. The temperature is an environmental factor that plays a significant role which indirectly affects the growth of microalgae with the changes of light intensity. Recorded was 32.7 degrees Celsius while the lowest temperature was 29.7 degrees Celsius and this temperature is st are still in suitable range since tetrasolmus species can tolerate temperature in between 16 and 27 degrees Celsius and usually 20 to 
24 degrees Celsius in an optimum temperature for microagriculture, although varies with the constituent of medium. And the growth rate uh, will slow down if the temperature is below than 16 degrees Celsius, while higher than 35 degrees Celsius will cause mortal to some species, according to Barzanti and Galtieri 2014. An overall range of moderate temperatures and a low to medium light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis increase as the light intensity increase, and relatively independent of temperature. And high temperature will prevent the growth of algae and cause to lower the biomass. And in terms of medium, well, the medium is the best because it has both stress metal and vitamins that are required for their growth and multiplica multiplication. Proven by the Provasoli 1958, Kane and Falk 1916 that another species of microalgae has both the vitamin cobalamin and thiamine for rapid growth and division. And this medium also effective maintenance of stock culture as well as for mass culture in various microalgae. Betuwalni 1974. Factor to consider why there are fluctuations in the reading was in fact uh, the sample was not fully axonic as they are presence of zooplankton. The whole sample was infested uh, with the zooplankton that was later identified from the phylum Cilifora, as you can see from the image here. Uh, throughout the culture of batch algae, not only the students observe the growth of algae but also the growth of zooplankton as well. The number of zooplankton do increase. Uh, with the high growth rate of algae as well and as well and decline as the algae decrease in growth rate. This show the trophic level that happened in the flash containing algae. It shows that during the fifth day, uh, tetra cell means shows high uh, high growth rate or high density, uh, while zooplankton should none uh, should increase uh, and, and in the sixth day the tetra cell means decline while the zooplankton shows the high abundance. So for the morphology of tetracelmis, it's a green flagellates. It can cause blooms when uh, in high abundance, usually in the tight pools. It has three stages of life, which is flagellate state, non-motile vegetative state, and a flagellate cyst. So uh, the shape of the uh, Tetracelamis is obovate to ellipsoidal with a true shape bead uh, at the anterior end. So uh, the, it is made of a rigid wall. The cell wall is made of a rigid wall called tika, okay, uh, covering the entire cell, including the bead. It, pre, uh, it uh, function to prevent uh, the cell from bursting when in saline condition. It has flow flagella, uh, which is made for swimming. Okay, and then it have three scales that covering three types of scale that covering the flagella depending on the species, which is uh, pentagonal, a man, and a hair scale. So the size of the tetracelmis uh, can vary from 3.5 to 25 micron. What is the purpose of algae culture? Firstly, it is to meet the needs of scientific studies, which they reviews the positions of microalgae in the ecosystem. Besides, it also to meet the need of biotechnology. For example, algae was used as waste remediation by producing biogas. Last but not least, it also used to meet the needs of bioindustry, as many different kinds of biofuels, such as biodiesel, were produced through various combustion technology. The right time to know. Um, the harvesting process. Um, once optimum concentration of microalgae are reached, uh, we can separate the algae um, from the growing medium using the watering technique, which is filtration. Um, as culture has entered the death or, or stationary phase, high metabolite will cause unhealthy cell condition. Harvesting process, dry weight of tetracelmis species were taken for five days. This is one of the most direct way to estimate the biomass production. Based on the graph, 
it shown that the dry weight of all replicates start to constant at the third day. Okay, so the agriculture was a success. Now, it shows that we have two exponential phase were found due to wrong technique in day four, but um, assumption was made and we reported our exponential curve on the graph. For the completion, the cell density increased as a function of time according to the logarithmic function. For recommendation, the collection of algae should be carefully protected against contamination before handling and make sure to shake the culture flask first before taking any sample so that the algae distributed evenly. That's all. Conclusion for this experiment, there are three objectives which are to do small scale batch culture of the same microalgae in different culture media, which is F2 and Walna, to compare the growth phase of the microalgae by observing its morphology size, color, and density from start until harvest, and to compare the algae growth rate, division time, and yield as fresh weight and dry weight per unit volume. However, some of the objective for this experiment is not achieved due to, due to the errors that occur which affect the result recorded. Thus, the expected graph for cell density of microalgae cannot be obtained. This is due to the reason that the sample itself has been contaminated. But not only that, the presence of zooplankton that fits on tetracellum species. Hence, there are a few improvements that should be done to conduct this experiment to make sure that the experiment runs smoothly. Uh, first, the student must have a fixed schedule to reduce human error especially for the counting activity, which will be done by the same person. Besides, students also need to revise back the proper technique before conducting the experiment to reduce the error. Last but not least, the other improvement that can be done is by preparing my replicate for both medium of one species. For example, there are three replicates of medium F2 of the tetracellum species, while three replicates for one medium of the tetracellum species.